Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I'm back at my local retention pond. It's late on a Sunday evening, got off of work, had a few appointments again today. It's a week later since my last pond fishing video out here. And uh, I've got even less time tonight, but even better conditions. The sun's already dipped. So it's about eight o'clock. I've got barely an hour and a half to fish before it gets really dark out here. So I'm gonna go at it, see what I can come up with. If you've all have seen my last video out here, which is not too long ago, just a little earlier in the week, I basically had uh, two setups Three setups ultimately I had a Senko rod, but I'm going all top water tonight, guys. But uh, I'm going live target frog. I had live target sunfishes last week, and now it's going to be 100% frogs tonight. I'm going to do the large size live target sunfish on my medium heavy seven foot two Shimano Zodius rod. Guys, I've got a lot of really great questions, and a lot of guys want to see my arsenal. They want to see me do an arsenal video, but guys, I have so much stuff. I don't know what it'd be like to do an arsenal video. It'd take forever. You guys probably get bored. Maybe not. I got some pretty cool stuff, but in a nutshell, I think as I do these videos and as I use the equipment that I use those days and in those videos, I think I'll go over each one in full detail so you know exactly what I'm using on the days that I fish and the conditions uh, that I'm fishing in. So, like I said, there's my full size frog on a seven foot two medium heavy Zodius Shimano rod. Uh, with that, I've got paired a Luz Team Pro. This is the mag, this is the top of the line, the newest reel that they had come out. Uh, and basically guys this thing's a beast on top of the fact that it's uh, an awesome reel for all reasons you know the Zodius rods don't have a bait keeper. Another guy asked me a great question. What do you do with the Zodius rods? They don't have a bait keeper. Where do you where do you hook your hooks on your on your bait? A lot of people you know would put them on the reels and everything else but guys if you see it right there that mag <laughs> that pro mag has that little bait keeper built in. Uh, I like their pro G it's got that little bait keeper so guys if you have any baits you're trying to find a place to put them locked down so perfect combo between this loose reel and this shimano zodius rod so great reel 50 pound test pro power pro slick is what i'm doing for that frog situation and you guys have seen this a bunch of times in my videos my shaky head rod that's my loose custom speed stick light shaky head model uh in that it's a seven foot medium power extra fast so for a little baby frog guys again i've told you this a thousand times in all my other videos don't don't laugh at a spinning rod with frogs it's a little quarter ounce frog 15 pound test braid it ain't crazy out here when it comes to cover there's no rocks wood uh huge lily pads or anything to worry about this thing will slice through cover that's out here in muck ponds and things like that and launch this baby frog a mile so that's the deal with a little static ci4 plus in a 2500 series and specifically guys sunline sx1 15 pound test casts in a mile let's show that off i'm doing baby frog first watch this Guys, I'm telling you, had it going on with that little baby frog for a little while. I gave it about 10 casts. I picked up the big one and I got a bass. Okay, so the big one decided to do the, do the, draw the first blood. He got it good too. I mean, look at the size of that full size frog and that, yeah, decent sized bass for a little ultra pressured retention pond out here in the middle of the urban area. So yeah, this, this is a very pressured pond guys. So uh, getting out here really late when it's real calm and you hear the frogs chirping like that, you know there's gonna be uh, maybe a little action to get. And interestingly enough, the full bodied frog, I gave it a couple seconds, the second it hit the, uh, the bank over there, pretty much right in the middle of the muck, he came up and crushed it. So that's a nice little start for the night. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, I don't think I would have even had a chance with a big frog with that little guy that was an ultra dink and he still couldn't get this tiny baby frog in his mouth. So yeah, if you want to catch numbers guys and there's a bunch of little bass in your ponds, these little baby frogs are the way to at least get a hookup or two. That one still couldn't even get it though. Let's see if we can find one just big enough with big enough mouth to actually get it in there. 
Okay, folks, we're losing light fast. So one last ditch of it. I'm gonna take a little walk and move my way down. There's a little bit more scattered grass on that side that I just can't quite reach with these casts. So let's give it one more shot with the big and small and see what we can come up with. Hang tight. Right, guys I had a blow up right there and just like a lot of times you would throw a Senko as a follow-up bait to a topwater bite I'm gonna throw a baby frog because that was the big frog I'm gonna see if that fish that didn't really get any of that might want to come up for this little guy and see if I can hook him All right, guys, I'm gonna make that my last cast and before these mosquitoes suck me dry, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. One fish is better than no fish, especially when it can be on a topwater frog. When you only have an hour or so to fish, it's not a bad deal to get out and get a few blow ups on a frog, regardless of whether you even get one in or not. So guys, as I detailed earlier, the rod reel line setup, I gave you a full blown arsenal as how to how I'm running these frogs on these little retention ponds. Future episodes, I'm gonna make sure to detail again from head to toe, rod reel line, uh, baits tackle, the whole setup pretty much as I'm in the situation situation and as I'm fishing so stay tuned for that uh, hopefully it'll get you know a new idea as to what I'm using and you'll get a little help on exactly how you might want to go about attacking your local pond local lake streams rivers whatever it may be so as always guys I appreciate you joining me I appreciate you subscribing until we meet again over and out